How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tag. So let's say you forgot your iPad passcode. And by iPad passcode, I mean this, the lock screen passcode of your iPad. So you forgot the code, you can't get in, you just can't use your iPad. And maybe your iPad is like mine is, it's fully functional, it's fully working, but you can't use it because you forgot the lock screen passcode. Or maybe even worse, you have tried it so many times that your iPad will say something like this, iPad disabled. It's not available, it's like that, disabled, and there's nothing you can do about it. Maybe it'll say, uh, try again in five minutes, in 15 minutes, in hours, no problem, because today I got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to deal with this problem, and I'm gonna teach you how to reset your iPad lock screen passcode, meaning I'm gonna teach you how to remove this passcode that you don't remember and create a new one. And I love this process for a few reasons. Number one, it's compatible with all iPad models. So not only this big iPad Pro, but this process also works with the entry-level iPad, the iPad Air, and also the iPad Mini, so any iPad. On top of that, no computer needed. So you don't need a computer for this process, you just need your iPad, you don't need a computer at all. And before we continue, a quick disclaimer, this tutorial comes straight from Apple support website. This is how Apple recommends that we deal with this situation of a forgotten passcode on an iPad. So again, this comes straight from Apple. And also, this tutorial will only work if the iPad is yours. If you own the iPad, and you have forgotten your own iPad lock screen passcode. If you're trying to do this for any other reason, trust me, it won't work. It'll only work if the iPad is yours, all right? So, without further ado, let's begin. So, as I mentioned, this tutorial is compatible with all iPads. That's why I have here with me an iPad Pro M1, which is the latest flagship iPad, but I also have an iPad 7, which is the entry-level iPad from a few years ago and this tutorial works on both of them. But there's a little restriction. Your iPad needs to be on iPadOS 15.2 if you wanna use this latest tutorial, which is computer free. As I mentioned, you don't need a computer to reset your lock screen passcode, but your iPad needs to be at least on iPadOS 15.2 or newer. If you're on 15.2 or newer, we can begin, if you're not, I do recommend that you go ahead and click on this card right here, which will lead you to another video of mine on this channel, on which I teach you how to do exactly this on the older tutorial, the old way, which will require it a computer. So again, updated iPads, you can follow this tutorial, outdated iPads, go to this card or link in the description. Nevertheless, I got you covered. Follow either of those tutorials and you'll reset your password. So let's continue here with the updated iPads. And the idea here is to enable security lockout. I don't know if you know this, but from iPadOS 15.2 and newer, we have a new feature on which if we got uh, the passcode wrong a few times, if we're locked out of our iPad for 15 minutes, we'll have a new feature called security lockout. So what we're gonna do here is actually type in a random wrong passcode a few times until we're locked for 15 minutes. So let's do this. So here, so here, okay. I'm doing it on both the iPads, all right? So bear with me here. So iPad is unavailable or iPad disabled, same thing. So try again in one minute. So we are locked out for the first time. We need to do this two times more until we see try again in five minutes, and then we do it again until we see try again in 15 minutes, and then we're ready. So I'll be back in a sec. So as you can see, one minute has passed. So let's try it again. Let's put in a random wrong passcode once again. Okay, and here once again. So iPad unavailable or disabled try again in five minutes. So we're locked out for the second time. Let's wait those five minutes. And then when we come back, we'll be ready. And after five minutes, we're ready to do it one last time. So then swipe up or press the home button and then try a wrong random passcode once again. And here as well. And as you can see here, iPad unavailable, 
and here it says security lockout and as you can see we have the option to erase ipad and as easy as that as we tap on erase ipad we get to this screen on which you can easily reset the ipad i'm gonna do it on this ipad on the ipad pro but i really just wanted to show you on both devices just to show you that it works on any ipad as long as you have ipad os 15.2 so let's focus now on the ipad pro so as you can see erase all content and settings so this iPad is a security lockout, as you can see. So you can try your passcode again in 15 minutes, or you can erase and reset this iPad now. And this is super, super important, guys, because what we're doing here and the only way to actually reset your forgotten lock screen passcode is to actually erase your iPad. There's no other way. You actually have to erase all content and settings. As you can see, you have to format your iPad, completely erase it in order to reset the passcode and create a new one. So please keep in mind that this will erase everything. But of course, if you have a backup, you can recover everything after the process so you won't lose anything. If you don't have a backup, I'm sorry. But again, that's the only way. In the old method, the one that uses the computer is exactly the same. You also need to reset it. All right. So let's go ahead and tap here on erase iPad at the bottom. And then it will ask us to sign out of Apple ID. So uh, it's here. It says here my email and it's asking for my password. So I'm going to type in my Apple ID password. You need to remember that one. And then you can tap on go and let it load. As you can see, it's loading, let it do its thing. As you can see, it will automatically restart. And then all you have to do now is wait. We'll see here a, back, a black screen and then the Apple logo and then a loading bar. So what we're doing here is just resetting the iPad. So again, don't do anything. Don't touch the iPad, don't do anything. Just let the iPad do its thing. Let's wait. If your iPad is running low on battery, I recommend that you plug it in right now, just to make sure the battery doesn't die throughout the process. But if the battery is okay, you don't even need to do that. And so, as you can see, we have the Apple logo with a loading bar. And again, all you gotta do is wait. The process is super fast. It's only like a minute or two. And now, just like that, we're done. We have finished the process. We have removed our forgotten passcode. We are on the hello screen and all you have to do is swipe up and then set up your iPad as if it's a brand new iPad. You've just opened it up from the box for the first time. So then you're going to select your language, your country. You're going to type in your Apple ID. And if you have a backup, you can recover all your information from the backup. And as I said, you don't have that old passcode that you don't remember. You don't have it anymore. It's clear. We have removed it. And then from the normal setup process, you're going to create a new passcode and use your iPad as you would. You're done. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful to you. If it was, please make sure to hit the like button down below. On top of that, the subscribe button, a little bell icon and the comment box down below. I always do appreciate your feedback. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye bye.